Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are checking out some amazing new features in Adobe XD. Things that we can do. We can now add GIFs, videos, do uh, complex hover animations, uh, intro animations, animation delays, add code to your actual website and much, much more. So without further ado, let's just get started. I have also started an Instagram page where I am interacting face to face with you guys, going live and talking about some really cool stuff and posting every single day. So go follow me at Puneet Chavla official on Instagram. So for all these new features to be activated in XD, you will have to download a plugin called Anima. And Anima is not available right now uh, in the plugin store for that you will have to go to a particular website called animaapp.com slash xd coming soon. To be able to use these features, you will have to sign up for this early access. And it's quite easy. You just need to fill a quick form and they will send you an invite in a day or two. Now we will try all these new features in XD one by one. So for that, we will just quickly create an artboard just like this. And in this artboard, we want, first of all, a, a GIF to be playing on the top left like this. So we'll create a quick square and in this square, we'll, we'll just color it, give it a random color so that we can see it. I've just placed some random text here which says, welcome to Anima. The next thing I want to do is maybe create a button here and we will probably animate it and create some hover animations right here. Now we can try out some new features here. First of all, we, we want to add a video here. Maybe it could be an Adobe XD video or a random video just like that. So. We will probably go to Microsoft Edge real quick. That's my browser of choice. Uh, I'll probably go to YouTube quickly. Yes, you can embed YouTube videos also here. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'll place this Peter McKinnon uh, video right here. It's, it's just a, oh, wow, what an ad. I love this ad. <laughs> okay, go to Anima plugin and under that I have video slash GIF. Uh, I can either place a GIF URL from Jiffy or someplace, or I can just place this YouTube video here. Autoplay on, loop, it should loop on and on. Next thing we want to do is make this do something on hover. So if I just select this, go to the left, and under this, there's something called hover effect. I'll click on hover effect, and we have a bunch of animations and transitions that we can try out from. So I'll click on grow, and as you can see, under CSS transitions here, it adds transform scale 1.1. I can change this scale value to 1.2 or 1.4 even, and it will basically save it like that. I will also change from ease in to ease in out, and duration of animation can be anything. So in this case, I'll be 0 0.5 seconds. That'll be like a smooth, nice animation. And I can add multiple animations to this. So CSS transitions, transform, cool. So maybe I'll give it a shadow like this. As you can see, there's transform, and now there's a new value here called box shadow. If you know CSS, you can even add your custom values. That is super amazing. We might change this shadow value here itself to 0 0.8, and that'll be a darker shadow. Awesome. We'll just go ahead and save this, and it basically saves the animation. You can always edit this by clicking on that element and going to this hover effect and click on edit, That as simple as that. And for the welcome to Anima, there's something called entrance animation, and I'll click on this. So whenever the document loads, it will animate on load. So in this case, I might want it to grow, awesome, and I might want it to fade in as well at the same time. So grow as well as fade in. That's awesome. Opacity and, and transform at the same time. Not only this, in this case, you can even embed stuff. So if you want to embed a YouTube video or if you want to embed a Google form, you can just copy the code from that embed option on their website and just paste the code right here. In that case, it will just embed in a certain element or inside this artboard right here. They also have something called forms and text input, which means you can add form submit button or text input in this case. You can even add things like breakpoints and links. So if I want welcome to Anima to be a link, I can make this a link just by clicking on that text right here. That, that's awesome. And I'll click on open a new window. So it will open the link in a new window. Awesome, we have this ready, so let's go and preview this in the browser. 
Rather than clicking on this preview button, now we will be clicking on this preview button here. It says processing design. In a few seconds, it should come to life. It's done the needful and the draft is ready. So we can quickly just open it up. And as you can see, it is opening it up in this anima browser. I'll just make it full screen. Ooh, and as you can see, it's playing the... Oh, okay, 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 Peter McKinnon. Oops. How do I stop this now? <laughs> Okay, wait, okay, now I can pause it. As you can see, the Peter McKinnon video is now here. The text animated as usual. And as you can see, this, this button is now animating like this, but all in all, it looks awesome and it functions as it says. So if I click on welcome to anima, it will open this anima screen. And as you saw, the video started playing automatically just like we selected uh, on Adobe XD. So those were some of the awesome new features that Anima has introduced into Adobe XD. So huge shout out to Anima. If you like that video, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I post every Monday and Thursday, same time. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.